Hey guys, Mikey Swartz here, Whiplash DVD. As you may know, my original channel had its comments disabled by YouTube and I could not turn them back on. So I decided to start two new channels. One is the new Whiplash DVD channel. The other one is the one that you're watching right now called Tacoma Apocalypse. This is where you're gonna see us put a 5.7 liter iForce V8 engine into a second gen Tacoma. We're calling this the Tacundra build. Leave me a comment below, let me know what you think and make sure you subscribe to this new channel, Tacoma Apocalypse. Finally got my garage at home cleaned out. Got this lift in here too. So this is gonna come in handy for unloading this truck. It's gonna kind of suck. This garage isn't really that big. The front of the truck's gonna go under the loft here so I won't be able to pick it up the whole way. So I might just store it in here and not even really work on it. But if I let it sit outside, the township will be pissed. So I can't do that. I gotta put it inside somewhere and I can't put it at my dealership because the guys will flip out down there too. It'll be in the way, so it's gotta go in here. I got bare hair on the skid loader for me, picking the front of the truck up, and I got these old water skis. We're gonna put a water ski under one of these arms, like this, because otherwise that thing's gonna dig into the trailer. That's good. A Tundra on skis, sweet. No, you're not in deep enough. Come in straight. Come in straight. What we gotta do is drag this thing to the back of the trailer so I can back the trailer in and lift the truck up off of it. So we're gonna try to put the skid loader in the garage to get a little more traction. Plus then the truck will be going downhill. <laughs> You know, obviously we couldn't have towed it the whole way home like this because the trailer would have been swaying really bad. Because uh, you see how much we have sticking out of the front here. It's like a 40 foot trailer, so. Okay, drop the wheel lift down. Keep going, you're gonna have to go way down. Keep going. Keep going down. All right. Uh, now just pull forward and let him get the loader out of the garage. <laughs> all right let me have him push you all the weight's coming off the tires of the truck now because this thing's so far back you have to give him a push give it hell ogre get ready there you go Heavy, I say. Kind of like Layla Star. You want to back that into the garage or should I? Okay. Really? <laughs> you stay there and I'll tell you what to do. Turn the wheel towards me because you got to aim the trailer a little bit the other way. If you ride the brakes, you'll be able to see better. Oh, 
she's a tight fit, boys. Oh, uh, we're a little too far on the pump side. Whoa! We're gonna run into another issue. The lift arms. Lift base. Oh, f Because the trailer's laying on the f floor. Yeah. I didn't account for that. Our trailer is currently crushed against the floor because this big bitch is really fucking heavy. It's rocking all the weight to the back. So I got a floor jack under this. So we're gonna slide a two by four on each side. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Hold up! Need a little more height. Keep coming. Whoa! The hair on your nuts. That's close. One nut yeah. hair. One sword's nut hair. They're pretty thick. All right, we're gonna put this thing up now. That's good. Now we can get a good look under it. Excuse. Might keep these around a little longer. I was about to throw these in. Right. You're not gonna want to stand right there, Mike. No shit. Just barely fit this thing in. Look how close it is to the door track. See, this is the back bumper, and here's where the door is going down. So it's just barely gonna fit. But I think the door will run down. Barry's gonna give a shot. Like a glove. Perfection. Oh, first bridge, first bridge. Just enough to keep the township off my ass. Well, the skid plate did his job for the fuel tank. What skid plate? <laughs> that one that's that ripped one right off there. of there. They kept it from puncturing the tank. <laughs> plastic. Oh, plastic tank, plastic skid plate. Perfect. I do wonder if this axle's straight. Yeah, axle took a hard good. hit. Oh man, that pinched a perfectly good exhaust. I'm not worried about the exhaust, but I would like to see this transfer case. Might need that. Looks pretty good. Trans looks good. Definitely gonna need that. A little rusty here and there. Hmm. Looks all right. Ooh. Wow, that does suck right there. Is this here's just Mountain Dew can? Yep, got a little Mountain Dew can there. Look at that lower control arm. It's smashed. All right guys, stay tuned. Get this GM 14 bolt axle in a chuck and then we'll be back to put the swap in. It's gonna be pretty sick. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Yeah, what he said. Make sure you guys come out to uh, Motorama if you're near Harrisburg and uh, see the truck in action. Not this nice. one, of course. Stubby McFly's making an appearance? Even Stubby McFly's gonna be there. What? The one and only. The one and only. Plus Stubby the drift McFly. truck. Plus my 96 Tacoma. Yeah! Keep going! I'm gonna hit that tree. Who cares? And my 05 Tacoma. They're all gonna be there. That's kind of a deadline to get some of the stuff done. The swaps aren't gonna be in the truck. That's not in the plan. But hopefully everything goes smooth and we get all four of those trucks there. Come on out. Get your autographs. Bear will be there if you want an autograph. If you saw the last episode, you know this truck did not come with a key. So I got a key maker coming out. He's gonna make a key and program the immobilizer. We're gonna see if this truck starts and we'll also get to see how many miles are on it. So click the subscribe button and make sure to tune into the next video in this playlist so you can keep up with this 5.7 swap.